So, the High Court in New Zealand has ruled against Jacinda Ardern's mandate, health mandate. Wow, things are changing. The, the, the establishments around the world, especially even in mainland Europe, courts and the judiciary are standing up to, against the governments and the executives. So, Jacinda Ardern, who's had a very, very easy ride until now, and um, being a, you know, the, the pseudo dictator of <laughs> New Zealand, doing whatever she wants, like uh, Justin Trudeau in New Zealand. Uh, she now been ruled out uh, her health mandate because according to the high court it's a gross violation of human rights maybe it goes back to the previous video we uploaded about russia and the un and uh, maybe it's time to remove new zealand from the united nations human rights council as well because it's it's not really looking good and uh, when she's had that peak jacinda when she was somehow popular uh, especially among the millennials and generation z and all the newbies who were just like, oh, strong female leader, but, and even though she's a communist. I'm not really sure why that's actually helping this case, but she's now completely in trouble because the people who filed this case against her were the police force and the soldiers of New Zealand. The people she used during the lockdown to go and attack the citizens, the people she used as a shield to hide behind them, so that they could actually enforce her regulations. They are now sick and tired of this situation. So they came out, they went to the high court and they filed the case and they, they have now won against Jacinda Ardern's CCP linked government. And that is the main point because she's, she's busy. She's got other priorities. I mean, apart from obviously using the police to uh, completely oppress her own people, she's, uh, she's very much distracted with uh, <laughs> sorting out the crisis in Sri Lanka. Yes, the Prime Minister of New Zealand is very concerned about Sri Lanka. Uh, and uh, so they're, they're seeking advice to make sure that, you know, we, we, as, as good neighbours, almost neighbours, could help Sri Lanka, even though her own people need her more than ever. Um, well, at least they need someone. They probably don't need Jacinda, but somebody else, maybe she could go and replace a proper Prime Minister. But when she's not too busy dealing with Sri Lanka, she's also hanging out with her bestie, presidency of Beijing and that doesn't really help the image of New Zealand that doesn't help the image of I mean she's no longer really being respectful towards the five eyes but the allies the western allies anglosphere this used to matter this used to mean something that we used to actually have something in common freedom democracy and the rule of law not using your police force as a shield to hide behind and actually use them to attack your own people this is completely out of line and there's, it's about time people in New Zealand more of them uh, came out on the streets and actually did something about this because there, there any elections local elections coming up and any near the future national elections that's the time for you to hire and fire the right sort of politicians so we don't end up with the types of Jacinda Ardern or Justin Trudeau or these sort of you and actually that reminds me it goes back to France because if you saw the, the first video we uploaded today was from the French elections the, the shock, the weekend election shock that uh, Marine Le Pen is now leading in the polls. So I am still tempted to go to France. If you, any of you are either are in France or know anybody in France, uh, in Paris especially, uh, that could uh, put me in touch because I don't know anybody there, send me an email. Get in touch with me and uh, I'll sort out my logistics and probably go to Paris and report from the French elections.